What's going on, Ophicus? How are you guys? I hope and pray that you all are well out there. It is Sunday. It is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. If you are a father watching me, thank you so very much. Appreciate you. And it is June, what is it, 16th, I think? So, yeah, 2024. And it's 7.47 p.m. right now. So, uh, yeah, welcome. Appreciate every single last one of you. Thank you so very much for being here with me and uh, showing support and uh, giving energy and love and all of those great things. We we'll greatly appreciate it. All the new, thank you. Hope you like, hope you stay, hope you enjoy the reading. So if you are new, I do Oracle, I do Index, I do three decks of tarot. All right. So I'm going to use the sign of the times today. Let's see what we get. Hope you guys have had an awesome day thus far and having an awesome evening. Or going, yeah, it's evening, yeah, 740, yeah, it's evening. Power lines and energy, number 36 at the bottom, okay? So, maybe be careful who you're giving your energy to, okay? Um, you be 36 years old, or uh, life path number 9, born on the 9th, and here it says phrases of motivation, you know, like affirmations and things like that. Maybe you're 24 years old uh, or your life path number six, born on the six, something of that nature. Um, maybe you're into affirmations. Maybe you need to go and look up what they are or something of that nature or um, maybe create some or something like that. Uh, here we go with this action. There's a lot of energy, right? With the power lines there's a lot of energy that you have to make things beautiful and great like I said, maybe you can create some motivational um, affirmations or something of that nature or inspire someone in some type of way or something so here we have the number 34 which breaks down to a number seven okay Maybe like sunflowers. Okay. So it says here. Just as a sunflower shifts its position to face the sun rays, this card is assigned to head in the direction of that which energizes you. Soak in the nourishment of your passions and the feeling of being alive. Now is not the time to be timid or shy. Accept invitations for adventure and act on your ambitions. Any uncertainty on whether the time is right to proceed should be put aside. It's time for you to take action and make moves. There is also an energy of constant movement in this card, which can cause you to change directions frequently, leading to inconsistency and a lack of progress. Stay focused as you take that next step with intention. It says here, guys, additional meanings. Green light. A waiting period is over. Take the leap. Get physically active. Go for it. Okay. 
whatever it is, it's yours for the taking. Oh, few gifts. All right. It's time to take action, my dears. Let's get it cracking. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get these index cards going. I think I'm just going to take some just at random. Maybe you need to take a day trip alone. Just go and drive, walk, ride bike, go get some coffee, go to the beach, go hiking, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, you need to go and have a time with yourself. Tap in with yourself. Something may come to you clearer. Most of the time it does. When you have that time to uh, hear your own thoughts. You know. from Montana or would like to visit Montana Second pile, let's get some cards here. investor um so maybe you like to invest in projects or maybe there is someone that is wanting to work with you by investing in you helping you along financially okay what's at the bottom Nobody will ever love you like you. Okay. Tapping in with yourself, your own energy, loving yourself. It is all love. It is all beautiful. You are beautiful. Here we go. One more time. Surrender to the powers that be. Yes, all praises to the most high power. Yahweh. Ever and ever and ever. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. Alright, so we have here. They are in their feelings because you moved on. Very intense emotions. 
And maybe met at a music concert. Maybe you need to go to a music concert. Release some energy. <laughs> maybe you're a photographer. Maybe you'll get some cool pictures while at a concert. Or maybe someone will hire you to do the work for a music concert. That'd be dope. Forgive or forget. Give it to God and just let it go. Wash your hands of it, okay? Dorm roommates. Maybe they want to invest in you. Your old roommate. They always knew that it would, you'd be great. I mean, they saw you working on something way back in college or something. I don't know. And maybe they were skeptical. Like, I don't know. <laughs> or someone just has that energy somewhere about something or someone so devoted to this love forever. California lifestyle. What's that? And it's rightfully yours. So, you would have never thought, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> Invitation to meet the family and friends. It's about damn time. <laughs> oh, you've been waiting on that invitation, huh? Somebody is expecting. Mm, is that why you're about to meet the family? Mm, I don't know. Someone's name starts with the letter D. You're very educated here and successful. Yeah, dorm roommates, college, education, educated. Your color is purple. Yeah. Somebody's all in your business, telling them to mind their own. Or, yeah, something like that. He or she may be a little bit shy about their emotions or their past. You like to sew or want to learn how to. You can work in a hospital. You definitely need a spa day all day. Stay away from messy people. Remove yourself. Keep your vision, okay? You've healed. And that's why it's time to get out there and feel your energy and feel where it is where you're supposed to be, what you're getting ready and amped up to get ready to go and do. What are you putting your energy towards? Okay, and here we are. You could be from Tijuana or would like to visit Africa, Peru, Switzerland, San Francisco, Canada, Botswana, Wyoming, Mexico, Bolivia, and Ghana. All right, so here we have it. Oh, well, I have to use this deck. It's just yellow, sun, sunflower, sun, powerful, beautiful energy. Okay, and I guess I should use that one first, I guess. Um, I don't know which one next. Um, okay. Hold on one second, guys. Give me one second. Ultimately, this is life, and this is a journey that we are on here. So, I got the Journey Tarot deck for last. So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Thank you for being patient with me, Ophicus. Here we go. One more time. Knight of Pentacles talks about a little bit of slow movement. That's where you've been at. It's time to pick up the pace a little bit. Get in the groove. Feel the summer sun and activate yourself. And get motivated and get to moving. Because it's go time. It's go time. Hmm, three fell out, two are in my hand. 
I want to put these two under the first card that comes out. Okay, these are the ones they fell just like that. I'm going to just put them just like so, okay? First card I have, five of swords to the six of cups. Energy of people that have known you or something of that nature want to work with you to have investor i'm sorry that's six of pentacles my apologies six of cups someone that's known you from the past a nostalgic vibe something of that nature someone that wants to reconcile maybe possibly even two don't know so here we go Ooh, the devil so there's five of swords talks about energy of defeat anxiety worry um you see the crown got knocked off his head, you know, like a place of unbalance in a sense, you know, um, or maybe, maybe felt unbalanced or, or worried about something or stressed out about something. Toxic energy maybe here. Skeptical, incredulous. Maybe about people that you working with or new dorm roommates. Skeptical of their energy, maybe. A nostalgic energy, maybe just because you knew them or something like that doesn't mean that there's someone to be trusted or something. I don't know. We'll tap into that in a second. So here we have Five of Swords. And then underneath that, I have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, which is my single energy, but you're sufficient. And the Knight of Cups, once again, some sort of offer um, coming your way. Or maybe you were worried about some sort of offer coming your way or someone investing in you, you know, or something like that. What's underneath this? Very intense emotions. You would have never thought, but yep, for sure. Okay. So, yeah, you're, like, worried about something, but it's rightfully yours. So, I don't know. There's some sort of nostalgic energy here with this here Six of Cups to the toxic energy. So, let's see what comes out. And it says, stay away from messy people. Remove yourself. King of Pentacles. So you're nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, working on things. Uh, seems like I don't want either one of those because it's two. I only, I only want one more right here. I don't know which one I should take. So um, it seems like you are someone that is uh, focused. Your money is doing what it's supposed to be doing I'm imagining here or this is somebody in your life that you knew. or somebody that wants to reconcile and they betrayed you so maybe I'm an earth sign Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or somebody like that that you knew. They betrayed you once upon a time or something like that. But you've healed. And now you're ready to move forward. Six of Swords. In reverse. So because of this toxic energy, things are kind of like at this standstill energy and not really going smooth for you. Hmm. Five of Wands, people are jealous of you? Okay. So it's like you had to go through energies or something or being and dealing with certain types of people in your life that you've known for some time, but the energy was just like 
they were haters and uh, so close to you in some environment where they cause you some sort of stagnancy because you are literally the star and everybody sees it and everybody knows it <laughs> All, all you do is work on yourself, work on your projects. You are very talented and um, you're constantly working towards um, improving yourself. And it looks like everything is going to work in your favor here. Financially speaking, with the Wheel of Fortune, like, it's like jackpot like for me on that one. So yeah, this person, the other person in your energy, um, they, they were just haters. <laughs> yeah, and it really kind of hurt you to know that this particular person, um, tried to play you. You know, and they thought that they were being secretive about it, but you... You run on energy, so you know. Yeah, so you're gonna probably more than likely allow that energy or that relationship or whatever it is to die out or die it, or you realize that you are this star and you don't need to. Uh, when I split the deck, I have a justice and the two of swords. Like you didn't see yourself even probably cutting that person off, but in order for you to have balance, like I said, there was some sort of balance imbalance. This person and your energy, they their energy, that, that power lines, it's their energy, their energy is off. And you being around in that, giving your energy to people, or, you know, thinking that they're really for you and they're really not, you know, you started picking up on certain things, you know, energy, 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 this person... Their, their responses, you know, you start feeling shade being thrown at you or whatever. Something just wasn't right. You started feeling skeptical of this individual. And it, 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 um, it was a little disheartening because you knew this person for some time. You just, you really didn't ever see it or suspect that from this particular person. All right, one more time. Appreciate you guys for being here with me. Thank you. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys so very much. If you uh, are still here with me, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. I appreciate you so very much for rocking it here with me on A Few Goods and Me. Here we have it at the bottom. We have six of disc. So, people working with you. Okay. You working with people. You being disappointed in the actions of these people that you uh, had relationships with not romantic just people the moon so you know like I said these are emotions and things you know when it comes down to how you really truly feel about these people that you are working with you know whatever it is However, you are working together with a person for sorts. You had to, you had to realize that you were in a space, you were disappointed. So after being hurt and disappointed by this person, after them thinking that what they were doing was secretive or whatever, you decided to pull away, take away your energy and rest, rest. So you can, so you can heal, but it says that you've healed. You have that, you have that card right here. So the high priestess flew out and struggled, so I'm going to throw it in reverse here. 
and I guess this person really thinks you just don't have a clue what backwards is in reverse. Like, you know, but you, you're you very aware. These two fell out, but I'm not going to keep either one of them. It's the Six of Cups, again. And the truth, the sword, clarity. You're really seeing who this person is. You, their true colors are coming out. Look at their wow, tire from falling like that. I'm just saying, it like it is falling. The devil right there. There's no good energy in that person. What does that say? I mean, you can put you can word it however you want to. King of Wands, creativity. It's time for you to let go of energy that just isn't. And uh, get on your thing, you know. Get on your ball. And, uh, sometimes you just you have to walk away, you know. Especially, you know, like after you sent something, remove yourself for a while. See how see how things happen for you, you know. Feel the energy around you when you're not with that person. That's what you started to notice. Like, you know what? Hmm, no, man. Something's not right here. Yeah, their energy is just terrible. Because you are a star. You get things done. You are very, very... Um, just, I guess, creative, you know, you have a lot of ideas, maybe this person's mad because someone wants to invest in you and they don't want to invest in them, maybe they're jealous, you know, you have the competition card here, maybe you guys were dorm roommates and, you know, majored in the same thing, you know, if you're, you know, actual physical, you know, males are a lot more competitive, sometimes, you know, than females, so, the action, 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 you know, so maybe someone got upset because someone went and invested in you and not in them, or you got the internship and they didn't, or someone's just jealous and mad and shady, you know, over your abilities, so, here we go, appreciate you guys, here's the last day, I'm just trying. See that night? Wasn't that the first card we had? I think it was. I'm taking your time. Or I was like, no, I said in the beginning, this was your energy. I mean, I guess it still is. <laughs> you taking your time, um, filling people out, maybe. You know, something like that. Because you hold the power, you hold the wand, you're beyond uh, creative, you've invested yourself in a lot of different ideas and projects and things like that. And eight of wands, you, you're a very, very busy person. Uh, maybe some good news is coming your way about some investments and the flip over. So there's no need to rush and um, take your time. And everything will sort itself out. You are the wounded warrior. Now you know how to get through these battles. You keep going. You keep moving. You don't let anything stop you. And uh, you're always ready for your adventures. What's next? So, Queen of Pentacles. Well, all right. That's maybe what's next. Because you're here. Either this is you, this is King of Pentacles, or um, like I said, someone that you knew or, you know, you were working with that um, betrayed you so that they could be the Capricorn or Taurus or the Virgo individual that you knew that was shady. Or this is also maybe you um, just being um, sufficient and uh, 
in your role, in your place. You know, you know how to get money, you get money. And there it is, okay. Of pentacles. So there you have it, Ophicus. I appreciate you guys and all your time, love, and energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much if you still are here. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.